Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how I made this headpiece. So I started with this mesh, wrapped it into a circle, fastened it around itself, and then covered it with leaves to just hide it. Then I took some twigs and berries, glued them on in, a, in this fashion. I kind of wanted to go for an asymmetrical look. I'm just going to start unwinding these pieces from this wreath that I bought. I try to repurpose things a lot. I get a lot of stuff at like estate sales and resale shops. And I just thought these berries were super cute and sparkly and I thought they'd be perfect for her headpiece. So I'm gonna use them. So you're just gonna go in and fill in the spaces. Typically it's pretty intuitive. Um, it just depends on what kind of design you're going for. Mine is an asymmetrical design, like I said, and I kind of want it to be more contemporary, so I'm going to be sure that there's lots of airiness to it still. I'm just using Gorilla Glue hot glue, and then I'm going to go in later with um, E6000 to just be sure that it all sticks. I like lots of texture in my head pieces, so I'll be using lots of bits of greenery, lots of bits of berries and things of that nature. So I'm just going to take some of these plastic leather leaf uh, orange leaves and drape them across the side of the face just to frame her face really nicely. Something to remember with contemporary designs, wherever you have something coming out, you want something going in or down. It just creates a nice flow makes everything feel very organic. You might have to twist them around a bit to get them to look exactly the way you want. Also by mixing shades of darker green with the lighter green and darker orange with the lighter orange really makes things feel more real. It adds a nice balance to the whole piece. Now from here I'm going to take the beads that I bought and just pull them straight off, straight off the paper that they were displayed with. And I just want it to drape across the forehead just like midway. You don't want it to cover the eyes or obscure the sight at all. Take the string wrap it around the headpiece, glue it down, make sure it's secure. Once I get one side, I'll do it with the other.
Now from here I had some neon orange crystals that I'd found. I'm just going to go ahead and unravel those and glue them throughout the headpiece to bring that bright neon orange in. You're just going to stagger them throughout, make it look like they're growing from the headpiece, just like the flowers are. I'm just going to go in and add some pine cones because I want this one to be very woodsy. I love the texture of pine cones and just think they look really cool. Add some of the brown tones in there to make it more earthy feeling. Got a bunch of pastel green crystals as well that are super iridescent, and I'm also going to stagger those throughout the headpiece. So once you try it on, you kind of see what needs to be changed and how you need to maybe finesse things a little more. That way it doesn't, you know, stick in your face or in your eye or isn't too much in the way. You also get a better sense of what balance needs to be made to make it just look right. So I'm probably going to add some frames to the other side, some framing orange pieces just to make it more cohesive. I'm also going to add some hair clips to the back to help secure it once she puts it on. It'll just clip into her hair or her braid or whatever she's doing. Because she's probably going to wear these out to raves and festivals and I want to be sure that it'll stay secure on her head.
Now, as you can see, I'm vibing pretty good with it, able to move my head all the way down and around. So I don't think she'll have any problem at the rave. <laughs> I also want to hide any of my mechanics, so I'm going to take some of these plastic orange leaves and some of the green leaves and greenery and just mask all of that, make it all blend. That way it looks like it's just something she picked up off the forest floor. And that's what it looks like on. That's really all there is to it. There's the back. So you can see how it masks it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make a headpiece. I can't wait to see what you all create. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Take care.